Hello, it is Saturday, November 12th, 2011 at 2.37 a.m. Central Standard Time. And last night I made a couple videos on some harp rings that were occurring down by Flagstaff. And we've got similar activity, activity up here in Montana tonight. Um, I went to the... Well, here you can see these right here. Supposedly, when there's no blue, the radar has been switched off of clear air mode. So it's a precipitation mode, like here in Idaho and up here in Spokane. <laughs> the problem is, see, that they're not, they're not green in the middle. Usually they're green in the middle, and these are not. You've got the these blue rings, but usually the ring is around green, like in here somewhat, or like down in here somewhat. So in any case, I went and looked closer at the loops, and right off, this one in Billings is interesting in that it's going to fill in. The other ones don't fill in, they stay clear. This whole inner circle stays clear. Maybe it wasn't Billings, because this one's still staying clear. You can see all this activity in, in here. you got the full range of colors from light blue all the way up to just a little bit of white. There's a few whites in there. And here you've got something static that's lit up. Sometimes those are wind farms. Actually, there's quite a few of them, though. Let's go look at another one. This is Great Falls. This one's interesting and in that the cloud's really not moving through. It looks like it's just going in circles or something. Spinning? I'm not sure. Notice the colors up here in the, of the clouds, not of the what's going on around the dock or is basically from eight. Well, maybe zero. All the way up to 24 plus. I'll show you something in a minute that addresses that. Let's look at another one. Glasgow. These are all like the one in Flagstep in that all these colors, lots of scattering going on. Supposedly, when precipitation hits it, they, it switches. I don't know if it's automatically or someone hits a flip switch, but it flips over to precip for precipitation mode, and then you supposedly don't get these bright colors because it's not as sensitive. That's what they're saying. Here is, this is the one that fills in. This is Missoula. You can see this is what it's going to look like when the loop gets done. But it starts out open. And then it fills in. What's interesting is there's no... It's not showing up in between these little beams. And then also, I'm going to go frame by frame. The loop starts at 4.38 UTC time. And then right here at 6 UTC, there's just a little beam that shows up. See, the little tick, tick, tick. And right after that is when it starts filling in. Immediately, I'm going to go back to that beam. Immediately after this little beam, you'll see this starts moving in.
and it actually consumes the Doppler and it still hasn't switched to the different color schemes to the back to the blues and the greens. I'm gonna go ahead and let it go through. I'm gonna slow it down a couple though. I'll try to tell you when the beam comes. There. And then these start moving in. I went and looked at well, let's go back to this one. See, Spokane is, there's no blue around it. It's all green. So I went to look at that as a comparison. And it's in the preci precipitation mode. See, the scale is different. So you're just seeing blues and greens, so it's going from well, about 8 up to 2530, which was the same range as the other one. See, this is freely going into the center circle. It's just odd because until tonight I hadn't really seen, well actually I noticed it the other night, you know, a place here and there that this big band of blue around here. But now it seems to be happening all over the place. I also looked at the um, National Weather Service. Salt Lake City, I was trying to get a comparison. And here you got blues and greens, so it's going from 5 up to 25, which the other was. And it's not going into any minuses, because the other ones had all that bright stuff in the middle that went all the way down into the minus 25 zone, and this doesn't have that. filled in Missoula, Montana. I'm going to turn off this topo so you can see it better with the black. Well here you get a little bit of minus, although it quickly goes away. Oh that's that's that um, highly agitated area that gets consumed. Now it's getting consumed by the storm clouds. Look at this one one more time. So anyway, I wanted to show you that this was happening again only up in the northern part of the United States, and I don't know why these aren't switching off of clear air mode since I mean, from the looks of this it looks like there's clearly precipitation coming in just like it is in Spokane. So God bless you and sleep well the rest of the night. Good night.